The Traveler arrived in the solar system long ago, bringing a golden age to humanity. However, this prosperity was cut short by the Collapse, a catastrophic event caused by the Traveler's ancient enemy. In response, the Traveler created ghosts and guardians to protect humanity. Over time, alliances shifted as enemies learned to wield the light and guardians discovered how to use the darkness. The being responsible for humanity's collapse, known as the Witness, was rediscovered. The Witness aims to create the final shape, a universe perfected through calcification into eternity. After multiple failed attempts, a vanguard scout named Crow managed to enter the Traveler. A strike force is now being prepared to confront the Witness inside the Traveler. The story has reached its climax, with every past battle leading to this moment. The Guardian finds themselves in an unfamiliar place, facing the Witness who speaks of bringing an end to futile exertions and offering rebirth into perfection. Operation Ahamkara is initiated as the Traveler struggles to hold off the Witness. The portal is unstable, and communication with the Vanguard leaders is lost. The Guardian crashes, but manages to enter the Traveler's realm. This space is described as containing multitudes beyond comprehension, existing between the Threshold and the Traveler's Pale Heart. The Witness's power stretches through the portal, and Mara attempts to buy time. The Guardian encounters taken enemies and strange spheres of concentrated darkness and light. The Guardian discovers they can use light to make imagined structures solid and real. They encounter scrambling genetic entities, possibly linked to past enemies. Communication with the Vanguard remains impossible, and even Mara's connection to her brother is faint. The Witness continues to pursue them, urging them to let go of their pain and failures. Despite the challenges, the Guardian presses on, driven by the need to find their comrades and confront the Witness. The Guardian realizes they have crossed the threshold and are truly inside the Traveler. The environment is unexpectedly beautiful, filled with light in every aspect. They discover a wellspring of light and dark, which they can channel for power. The Guardian manages to fuse light and dark into harmony, becoming stronger than ever before. They follow a transponder signal, encountering intense visions and feeling the Traveler's pain. In a surprising turn of events, the Guardian encounters Cade Six, who was believed to be dead. Cade explains his experience of death and rebirth within the Traveler. He describes feeling at peace until something pulled him out waking up alone without his ghost or the ability to use light. Cade provides information about the witness and the concept of the final shape, which threatens to end everything. Despite the dire circumstances, Cade expresses joy at seeing old friends again. Cade shares information about Crow's last known location and a darkness anomaly he was investigating. The Guardian's ghost confirms Cade's authenticity, but notes some unexplainable readings. It's theorized that Cade, being made of light like ghosts, might be able to share the Traveler's light. The Guardian's newfound ability to harmoniously wield both light and darkness is noted as a significant development, comparable to the creation of ghosts. The search for Crow intensifies as they follow a mysterious bird. They encounter Glint, Crow's ghost, who explains that Crow entered a darkness construct despite warnings. A barrier prevents Glint from following. The Guardian works to unlock the barrier while Cade comforts Glint. The bird leading them is suspected to be the Traveler itself, guiding them. Upon reaching the darkness construct, they find it affects minds, offering visions of alternate realities and temptations. The Witness uses darkness to exploit Crow's memories and light to give them form, presenting tempting visions of power and dominion. However, Crow resists, choosing pain and believing it to be his purpose. The Guardian and Glint finally reunite with Crow, who had been listening to whispers from statues. Glint expresses hurt at being left behind, and Crow promises not to do so again. The group sets up camp outside, with Cade nearby. The scene ends with a description of pockets of darkness 
as physical manifestations of the witness's presence. The traveler is under attack by the witness, causing distress among guardians and their ghosts. The witness's corruption is spreading within the traveler, creating a malignant environment. However, the traveler's light still offers some protection. A nearby location resembling the Io Cradle has been spotted, which could be of interest to a warlock. Communication with allies outside is difficult due to signal interference. The Witness has created a new army using stolen light, opposing the Traveler's forces. These are called Stewards of the Final Shape. A coalition is working on dispelling the Witness's interference. The search for Iora begins, with her ship found abandoned. The team encounters Hive forces loyal to the Witness. They discover that using both light and dark energy is necessary to overcome barriers within the Traveler. Iora is found deep in meditation, attempting to commune with the Traveler. She senses the Traveler's distress. The team theorizes that the Witness is weaponizing the light, reshaping reality inside the Traveler. This final shape is described as a universe where nothing exists except by the Witness's consent, a form of eternal imprisonment. The team resolves to use the power of light to destroy the Witness. Tensions arise between team members, particularly Ikora and another guardian, over past responsibilities and actions. The nature of the Traveler's interior is discussed, described as a reimagining rather than a recreation of reality. The Witness's plan is further elaborated as an attempt to create a perfect ending for all life, which is seen as an obsession rather than true salvation. A guardian experiences a miraculous resurrection within the Traveler, leading to philosophical discussions about the nature of light and death. The team encounters pyramid technology and witness forces. They receive a signal from Zavala, making him a priority. The witness's ability to reshape the Traveler's interior is contrasted with the Traveler's life-giving terraforming. Zavala is found in a recreation of his past home, defending it against fallen attackers. The Witness attempts to break Zavala by offering him an eternity with his lost family. Despite the temptation, Zavala refuses the offer, recognizing it as a lie. The team reunites, but the experience has taken an emotional toll on everyone, particularly Zavala. The Vanguard is back together, but tensions remain. Ikora expresses concern about Zavala's mental state after his encounter with the Witness's illusions. The team prepares to push closer to the Witness's monolith. There's a reflection on the nature of loss and the difficulty of letting go, even in the face of miraculous returns. The Guardian is urged to stay alert as they continue their mission within the Traveler. The scene begins with a conversation about Amanda, described as both a ray of sunshine and a troublesome child. At age 12, she disassembled a sparrow engine, demonstrating her mechanical aptitude. Despite initial anger, her skills were recognized and she was given a job in the hangar. The speaker emphasizes that Amanda lived life on her own terms and died a hero. The conversation shifts to discussing the current state of the commander, who is described as scared, an unprecedented occurrence. The fear is acknowledged as understandable, but potentially dangerous if mishandled. The group feels a disturbance, identified as the Traveler screaming for help as the Witness interferes with it. A revelation is made that Cade's return was not due to the Traveler, but rather a wish made on an Ahamkara, a wish-granting dragon known for twisting desires. This truth is kept from Akora and Zavala to maintain their faith. The group encounters Vex followers of the Witness, engaging in combat to clear a path. Despite Cade's inability to use the light, it's suggested that it remains a part of him, and he may have undiscovered capabilities. The team discovers a massive energy signature emanating from a fissure, described as pure and powerful light. This location is revealed to be where the Guardian was first resurrected. As they investigate, Taken forces attack, prompting a fierce battle. The energy is identified as not just light, but the Traveler itself. 
This realization leads to speculation about potentially communicating with the Traveler. The Guardian displays new powers, interpreted as a sign of the Traveler's direct assistance. However, concerns are raised about the lack of a concrete plan to utilize these new abilities effectively. Zavala reveals a disturbing experience at his family's homestead, where he heard a voice associated with a veiled statue, a relic of the Witness. This admission raises concerns about the Witness exploiting Zavala's grief. The team decides to pursue Cade's suggestion of communing with the Traveler, hoping to gain insight and reaffirm their faith. They emphasize the importance of unity and hope in the face of the Witness's attempts to divide them. The Guardian is encouraged to anchor the fire team and utilize their growing powers as the Traveler's champion. The team investigates fissures emitting light, believing they might serve as a means to communicate with the Traveler. They split up to explore different areas, searching for uncorrupted sources of light. During their search, they encounter various challenges, including Lucent Hive in unexpected locations. The presence of these Hive raises questions about their allegiance and how they arrived in this space. Despite setbacks, the team remains determined to find a way to connect with the Traveler, understanding the crucial nature of their mission. In a surprising turn of events, the team encounters a Hive Lightbearer wizard named Saku, who assists them against Taken forces. Saku explains being drawn to this location by the Traveler's energy, referring to it as the Gardener. This unexpected ally provides an opportunity for the team to access an uncorrupted fissure. As they attempt to commune with the Traveler, they experience visions and hear whispers, including a child's voice. The experience culminates in a profound interaction with an entity representing the Traveler, discussing concepts of devotion, bravery, and sacrifice, the tenets of being a guardian. The scene begins with fragmented phrases about devotion, bravery, and sacrifice. A character named Kate appears distressed after witnessing something, refusing to be touched. Another character mentions seeing a figure called Sundance before being interrupted. The scene shifts to a discussion about protecting a place and its inhabitants, with references to an attack and individuals acting independently. The conversation turns to analyzing a message related to the Guardian Creed, which includes devotion, bravery, sacrifice, and death. There's speculation about its meaning and Cade's vision. The speaker expresses deep commitment to their companion, emphasizing their connection and shared purpose. They reflect on past struggles, including the loss of a character named Hakim, and reaffirm their dedication to each other and their mission. The scene changes to a mission briefing. Commander Zavala instructs the Guardian to take out a Tormentor guarding a path to reach the Witness. They encounter Lucent Hive and a wizard creating an obstruction. After defeating the wizard, the path clears. There's a brief discussion about using Ahamkara and taking risks. Tensions arise between Zavala and Akora regarding the chosen route and decision-making. The team discovers an ancient town with pyramidal architecture. A voice urges them to give themselves to darkness to find answers. This causes conflict between Zavala and Akora, with Zavala showing uncharacteristic behavior. They defeat the Tormentor, clearing the way forward. The voice continues to tempt them with answers through darkness, leading to more disagreements within the team about following the Traveler's path versus pursuing concrete leads. Tensions escalate as Zavala becomes increasingly reckless, dismissing concerns from his teammates. He leaves camp alone without his ghost, Tar, believing he can find the Witness's weakness by giving himself to darkness. The team, worried about Zavala's state of mind and safety, sets out to track him down. They encounter mysterious statues that offer cryptic guidance, hinting at being prisoners of the Witness. The statues reveal they were once part of the Witness, but were exiled. They urge the team to give themselves to darkness to free them and find Zavala. The search continues with increasing urgency. Tar, Zavala's ghost, expresses deep emotional distress at being unable to locate or connect with Zavala. The team splits up to cover more ground in their search. The search leads to a dramatic confrontation. Zavala is found in a dire situation, seemingly influenced by the darkness. The Witness's voice speaks through him, 
revealing its history and motivations. It describes seeking order in the universe and rejecting the traveler's ambivalence. The witness admits to calling out doubts and fears to achieve a singular purpose in darkness. The confrontation reaches its climax. Zavala, now without his light or ghost, faces a profound crisis. His friends try to reach out to him, reminding him of his identity and importance. Zavala acknowledges the sacrifice of Tar, his ghost, recognizing the heavy cost of his actions. The situation leaves the team grappling with the consequences of their choices and the nature of their purpose as guardians. The struggle against the witness continues as the protagonist grapples with sacrifices made and the weight of responsibility. A memory holds the key to salvation with the potential to unmake what was made. The mission now focuses on linking up with defector specters to access the witness's manifested memories. This endeavor requires guidance and support from allies. Reflections on the role of ghosts reveal the profound impact they have on guardians. The loss of a ghost named Gund Dan is mourned, while another ghost named Tar is remembered for his dedication and insight. Despite the mortality of key figures like Zavala, their sacrifices must not be in vain. The mission to unmake the witness by accessing its memories in the Pale Heart begins, bolstered by faith in the Traveler. The team prepares to navigate to a ritual site where the witness was created, guided by Zavala's knowledge. Despite lacking his light, Zavala remains committed to the mission. The journey faces immediate resistance, emphasizing the need for focus and determination. The witness, aware of internal dissent, attempts to block their progress. As the team confronts various obstacles, including taken blockades and hive attacks, the witness taunts them, questioning their motives and offering twisted enlightenment. The riddle, what was made can be unmade, becomes a focal point prompting consideration of using the Traveler's Light to destroy the Witness. The protagonist's ability to wield both darkness and light is seen as a crucial advantage. The Witness continues its psychological assault, attempting to sway the Guardian by offering freedom from the Light's influence. It challenges their motivations, comparing their actions to the violent pursuits of the Hive. The temptation of power and escape from an eternal chase is dangled before the Guardian, echoing previous offers made to others. Mara arrives to warn of danger, revealing she has deviated from her assigned role with the Coalition fleet. The Witness intensifies its efforts to corrupt the Guardian, offering godhood and power beyond the Traveler's gifts. This desperation is seen as a sign of the Witness's fear of the Guardian's potential. The team reaches the place where the witness was created, described as a quiet, tomb-like environment. As they approach the center, they face attacks from multiple fronts. The traveler, though not fully free, attempts to aid them in their struggle against the darkness. A crucial discovery is made. What was made in darkness can be unmade in darkness. The team realizes that destroying the statues, which are part of the witness, will destroy the witness itself. The light is revealed to have the power to free and separate the many from the one, offering a path to unmake the witness. The guardian makes progress in weakening the witness, but the battle takes its toll. As the witness regroups, the team urges the guardian to retreat. The fight continues, with the witness taunting the Guardian's choices and perceived weakness. Despite setbacks, hope remains. Mara returns with news of rallied allies, including Kayadal's Empire and Mithrax's House of Light. A Guardian named Saint-14 brings new strategies. The next phase of the plan involves subduing the witness, weakening its hold on the Traveler, and ultimately storming its monolith to shatter its control and end its threat once and for all.